Well, what is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. Now, this particular video has been long overdue. Um, luckily, for some reason, with disconnecting, reconnecting my internet and everything else, this actually seemed to save somehow. So, I was waiting until I got my Elgato set up, and I was going to go ahead and do it that way, but um, it somehow miraculously saved. Um, just using the regular PlayStation recording, so I thought, why not? I'll finally post the DMO um, How to save your outfits way. So this is your net cut So if you're unfamiliar with this, this is director mode online And this is going to be the net cut version So this way when you do come online, you can either bring vehicles on and pass them on to a friend um, You cannot save them yourself. Um, there's a few You know suggested methods out there that are floating around that are how to save your own vehicles I personally have not tested them. It's easier just to pass to a friend and get them back or take turns. Have them hit DMO, give you cars, and vice versa. Um, and then this is also if you want to go ahead and make some outfits. So if you want to make some outfits using Save Editor, if you want to go into the trailer and merge them with some full invisible outfits or like Ms. Visible Torso 2s and things like that, there is lots of things and cool magic slot outfits and stuff like that you can make with this. Um, I will go into more detail in further videos, but for this particular video, I'm just going to show you how to actually hit the glitch. Um, so this way, when you are online, you can go ahead and save those outfits or pass those cars to a friend. All right. So you do need Save Wizard for this. Obviously, you need Save Editor, which is free anyways, but you do need to have Save Wizard because you are going to need a special save, which I will leave down below um, a couple links to where you can download the DMO save. Now once you have the DMO save, you can go ahead and adjust it however you want with the outfits and such and cars. I have another video on that. And then you're going to go ahead and load it onto your PlayStation. Now, once you load into your PlayStation, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go into story mode. And from story mode, we want to go into creator. Now, for this first part, you are going to need a capture. All right. So if you've done the teleport glitch in the past, you are going to have a capture. This is to get our recent activities back. Um, I will leave a link down below to my old teleport video on how to create this actual capture. So if you haven't done so yet, I'm not going to go over it in this particular video because it's going to be long enough as it is. All right, so you're going to go ahead and load up the capture that you've created previously, whether it was for teleport or something else, or just for this particular glitch. So you're going to go ahead and go load creation into your saved ones, and I've just named it RA for recent activity. All right. So once we go into here, we're just going to want to go ahead and test it. And we want to just test our team one. So test team one. We're going to come down here on foot. Now when we're down on foot, all we want to do is we're going to hit down on the D-pad. And then we want to press and hold down the D-pad and select a single player character. Now from here, we want to get our network settings ready. We're going to accept this first alert. Then what we want to do is just double tap our PlayStation. And we're going to go ahead and disconnect our internet. So when you're on this alert, you're going to go ahead into your PlayStation, and then you're just going to go ahead and disconnect just like this. Now, when you come up and you're going to come up to clouds, you're going to get a second alert. When you get the second alert, we're going to just go ahead and accept it. And as soon as we accept it, we want to double tap and reconnect our internet. All right. So second alert, accept it, hit X, double tap, and now we're reconnecting our internet. Now, if done correctly, you're going to see in the top left-hand corner kind of a glitched out menu there. And then it's just going to go ahead and throw us into a story mode session. Now, when you get into a story mode session, you should be getting a phone call. Now, you're going to be Trevor at this point. So if you're in a plane like I am, just go ahead and land it. If you've got the cops on you, you're going to have to leave the cops or lose the cops. Do not answer this phone call or decline it until you are on foot, not in a vehicle, and no cops. As soon as you accept the phone call, you're going to go Options, and you're going to go over to Rockstar Editor, and we want to go into Director Mode and hit Yes to accept that alert. So as soon as you get that phone call, Options, L1, and we're going to go into Director Mode, or sorry, Rockstar Editor, and then Director Mode. Now from in here, I always switch your um, settings. You want to change the time of day to midday. Then we're going to go down to Actors, Story Mode Actors, and we're going to pick Franklin, okay? So I'm trying to slow this down in some parts here, but some parts are going a little quick, so just rewind it if you do miss something. So we change it to midday, we pick Franklin, now we're going to go um, as Franklin here. Now we're still going to be kind of a glitched out state, we're going to get a phone call, as soon as you get that phone call, you're going to deny it. Now you want to hit options, open up your a map, and we want to go down here to the movie theater. Now any movie theater works, I personally use this one. 
Um, and then you go ahead and go into your waypoint and teleport down to the theater. Now once we're down here at the theater, we just want to go ahead and run in. Now if we've changed our day to midday, it's going to let us in. If it hasn't, we're going to have to change it before we go in. Now from here, we're going to hold our interaction menu and we're going to go up to return to casting trailer. But before we accept the alert, we want to get a recent activity ready. Now once we have that recent activity ready, we're going to go ahead and double tap and we're going to go ahead and hit X on return to casting trailer. Now as soon as the screen fades to blank, wait about a second, double tap and start GTA Online on that recent activity. You're going to deny that alert. Now as soon as you deny that alert, you're going to hit options, you're going to go online, play GTA Online and we're going to hover over go. Now from here we're going to double tap our PlayStation button or tap our PlayStation button we want to go back into our network settings. As soon as we click go, we're going to accept the first alert, double tap and disconnect the internet. Now once we disconnect the internet, double tap come back to GTA. Now once we're back into GTA you're going to get a second alert. Now once you get the second alert you're going to go ahead and double tap and reconnect that internet. Alright, so this glitches a lot of double tapping, connecting, disconnecting. So once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quick. So accepting this alert, double tap, and we're going to now connect the internet. Now from here, go back to GTA Online. It's going to spawn us back into a new public session, and we are going to be Trevor once again. Now from here, all we need to do is pull out a RPG or a sticky bomb or something like that and just go ahead and blow ourselves up. Alright. Now once we've done that, we're going to spawn down at the hospital. Now you're going to be sitting there for probably about 45 seconds before we're going to get a cutscene. So this part is coming up here pretty soon. We are going to have to be pretty quick. So I'll slow it down so we can talk through it. Okay. So now you're just going to stand here. You can walk around, run around, whatever you want to do. You just got to wait. Eventually we're going to get the cutscene. Now as soon as that cutscene comes out, you're going to see Franklin walking in. You just want to start spamming X. Okay. So you're going to see that here in a second now. We're just waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Cutscene's finally going to come, and we're just going to spam X. Boom, there we go, we're spamming X. Now, as soon as we see Michael on top of the desk, we're going to hit Options, L1, and we're going to go over to Online, and we want to go into Creator. Okay, now you want to do this part fast. So now we're just going to go ahead, launch up Creator, accept all the alerts. Now, once we come into Creator, this part is very important. This is the very crucial part to this entire glitch. Soon as you see the menu come up in the top left, we're going to double tap back to our internet. It's still going to be there from before. And as soon as we see that menu right there, double tap, disconnect our internet. Now you want to double tap, hit this alert, accept it, go up twice to exit to GTA Online, and then you're going to go into GTA Online. Now we're going to hit three bumps, bump, 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 up in the sky. As soon as you get the third bump, the screen's going to fade black. You want to double tap reconnect your internet then only hit the PlayStation button once at this point and you want to go find a recent activity and you're gonna go start GTA online and then on this alert we're gonna hit square to retry so that part some people roll easy in his video he said he can be some more chill some people have to be super fast most of my accounts I've got to be super fast so I recommend just being super fast there it doesn't hurt to do it but um, it's better to be fast than slow all right now at this part a couple things can happen. You can go into an online session um, and nothing's going to happen which means it didn't work unfortunately. What you really want is you want to get the wasted in the background like we just heard and you want the camera to span over and you want loading in the bottom right hand corner with the mission failed. So if you've done that you've done it correctly. Now this is the part where we're going to use NetCut. So you want to go ahead and hit that little Wi-Fi signal beside your PlayStation IP address and then you want to sit on that for about 40 seconds, all right? So you're just going to sit here. You're going to see the screen flicker bright, and you're going to get a third bar in the interaction menu, or sorry, in the mini map in the bottom left-hand corner, just like this. Now, once you've got that, you can go ahead and reconnect your Wi-Fi. So hit that little Wi-Fi signal. And then in here, we're going to hit circle to exit, and then X to accept the alert, okay? So we're going to hit circle, and then X at that part once we've reconnected our Wi-Fi. Now it's going to take a few seconds, it's going to load us in, we're going to be on a black screen, and we're going to show up as Franklin in the heist room. So from there, all we're going to do is open up our interaction menu, and we want to go into director mode. All right, so here we are, we're going to open up interaction menu, go into director mode, and just accept the alert. Now we're pretty much done, we're almost done at this part. All right, so the very crucial part is that loading in the bottom right-hand corner um, and getting that wasted, all right? 
So from here, we're going to go Actors, we're going to go down to Online Actors, and we're just going to select our GT Online 1 character. Now, if we started off in Online 1, we want to make sure we pick Online 1 or vice versa. If we're on our second character, before we start the glitch, you want to make sure you pick that second character. So only pick the character that you were already registered as. And actually, it even doesn't even matter, to be honest, I've done it. Um, and you just spawn in as the other character anyways. So it doesn't really matter, but just to make it easy, make sure you select the one you are. Now we're going to spawn in here. Now from here we just want to go online, play GT online, and an invite only session. Once you get this trailer alert, just hit circle to deny it. So you're going to get three alerts. You're going to accept the first two. The third one is going to be saying, are you sure you don't want to turn the casting trailer? Just hit circle to deny it. And we should spawn in an online session very, very quickly. So it's going to load a lot quicker because we were already kind of in a glitched out online state at that point. Now, always, 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 and I should have said this in the very beginning, and I do apologize, 12 minutes in, make sure your spawn location is your bunker or your CEO office or any of your apartments. It works a lot, lot better if you're in an interior. If you're outside, it tends to blue screen a lot more. I have some people that say they do it all the time, works no problem. Um, but I mean, why? It saves you maybe 10 seconds from having to teleport down to where you want to go. Just save yourself the hassle, less chances of blue screen, and just have your spawn location to your bunker or your CEO office or something like that. Now, if you're in an interior and it doesn't let you actually set a waypoint, you can just go ahead and pick one of the quick locations like Mount Gordo or the LSC or something like that. And then from there, you can go ahead and teleport using your waypoints and you can set your location as well if you want to do that from there. So I'm not going to get into everything that you can do while you're in DMO. This is just strictly to hit the glitch, but as you can see in the top right hand corner, we have director mode online. So if I want to do outfits, I can go through in here and I can switch my actor through my interaction menu. So you're going to have a double menu, which is going to be kind of glitched out. If you hit options and then options again, it will unglitch. So it's not going to kind of flicker like that. So this way you can actually see what you're doing. Um, then from there, you can go ahead and scroll through your boardwalkers if you want to save some different outfits, which kind of I'm doing here in the background. I was kind of looking through what I had on this particular save. So you can go through here. Now, for any reason, if you ever want to go back to the casting trailer, make sure you are always um, have your GT Online character selected before you return to the casting trailer. Otherwise, you will get frozen. And when you do go back there as well, your guy is going to be kind of sideways. You want to make sure you hit triangle and circle. Um, before you do anything else so this way your guy is not frozen. If you ever get frozen in the trailer, um, you're going to have to start the glitch all over. If you die, you're going to get thrown back to the trailer, so you want to make sure you hit triangle to short list the character, but then deny the alert. So triangle, circle, that'll get you unfrozen. Then you can just pick your online character and go back online from there. All right. So those are a couple little tips and tricks for you, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so that's how you get director mode online using net cut so you can save your outfits, your cars, and everything else. Um, so I will go into more detail and I will leave a link down below to other videos that I've already kind of covered on this, three ways to save your cars using DMO. Um, and I am going to make a second part to this video on how we can actually do um, a outfit transfer glitch using DMO as well from female to male or male to female. So that's going to be kind of a part two to this video. So stay tuned for that. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. If you want to become a member to the channel, just click the join to the, to the left beside subscribe. And also, while you're at it, go check out our new website at StellaCrewGaming.com for any of your um, swag or any SCG services that you may require as well. All right, guys, this is your boy SCG, and until the next one, I'm out.